Hello? Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi sir. This is John and I'm calling from Health and Welfare Department. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, great sir. Good to... Sir, I'm also good sir. Thanks for asking. So the reason behind my call is to let you know that your number got shortlisted for a free health insurance. It is a zero dollar health insurance, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, which is fully funded by US federal government. And top of that, you will be getting medical emergency, that is dental vision, copay, surgery, OPD, prescription, will cover all your medical expenses and medicines also covered, okay? So there is some eligibility criteria, sir, that uh, will set up by US federal government that you are eligible or not for this health insurance. So may I know your age? Because the age criteria is 19 years to 15, 64 years. Okay? So how old are you? You're going too fast to decide, John. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, sir, I just say, I just telling that. How old are you? Hold I on. Check you are eligible or not. Hold on, this side, John. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, sir. Can you tell? Can you confirm your age? How old are you? I'm 71. Oh, sorry, sir. You are not eligible for this health insurance. Okay. If you say so, this I'm side, John. Answer, hey, this side, John. I got some questions for you. This side, John. Yeah. When did you start scamming, and are your parents proud of you? You hung up on me this side, John. Ass hat. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Son of a bitch. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi. This is Kevin. I'm calling you from Alden Care Benefits. How are you today? I'm okay, Kevin. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Actually, we have received your information for 2024 Medicare enrollment. So I believe you do have Medicare Part A. Of course I do. Got it. Sir, uh, just to check your benefits and saving options, I need to confirm your age. So may I know how old are you right now? 66. 66. Got it. Okay, sir. That's pretty much information take from my side. Now I transfer this call to verification department so they will guide you further, okay? Just stay on the line. Oh, okay. Uh, good morning. This is Sam calling you from US Benefits on the guarded line. How are you doing today? I'm okay, Sam. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Yes, first of all, I'm not going to take much of your time. I saw that you have filled out an application for your Medicare insurance plan. I will go ahead and assist you, sir. Do you have both Medicare Part A and Part B? Of course I do. All right. Uh, you have a date. And just for qualifying purposes, sir, uh, how old are you? 66. 66 years young sounds good. And do you make your own health care decision by yourself or you have legal power of attorney? Uh, I'm pretty healthy so far. You make your own choices, right? Of course I do. Uh, all right, thank you. I appreciate you. So, do you get me to fly around? So, you are living in the state of Mississippi, is that correct? Yeah. State in Mississippi. What is the good over there, state in Mississippi? 39157. All right. Got it, thank you. 39157. Got it. So, according to your state in Mississippi, you are perfectly qualified, sir. And last thing from my side, just for communication purposes, sir, how do you pronounce your first and last name? Ben. This is the uh, first name, is Ben? Yeah. Oh, then Mr. Ben, what is your last name? Chode. What? Chode. <laughs> it was too noisy. That's Chris, the Pepsi driver. That's He's doing bot. that old Fortnite That's stuff, or whatever the hell the game's called, I don't know. Okay. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Hi, can you hear me with American Fantasy? How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Actually, the reason I'm this call is to let you know that you are qualified to the Fantasy Health Care. So, I believe you don't have any Medicare, Medicaid, or any year coverage, am I right? I got Medic Medicare. You got Medicare? ND? No. Okay. Um, what about CNG? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm asking about that. And do you have that? Well, I can see okay. Okay. So have a good one. Uh, do what? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, this is Leanne and Edward Jones. How are you? Edward Jones? Holy yeah, the crap. long lost Edward Jones. Oh, for my portfolio information. I thought you were a scammer. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were a scammer. And no, no. Yeah, well, they usually... You remember me, Leanne. I call you about every half a year just to, you know... Yeah, am I rich yet? I called earlier. My whole, my whole phone just went out. I was like, uh, hello? Excuse me? So, yay, fun day. Wait, earlier with the whole music? Oh, was that it? I'm not sure. You, you, you're, you're, you, you're fixing you me on YouTube, through? though. Okay. You're fixing me on YouTube, though. I'm recording this. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Hey, this is Chase with General Electric Home Security. How are you doing today? Okay. How are you? Good. Uh, well, the reason we're calling uh, is we're talking to homeowners in your area offering a free state-of-the-art home security system. Are you the homeowner? Of course I am. I'm at home right now. Well, let me ask you, if we were to give you a home security system for free, I'm sure you would use it, wouldn't you? Of course I would. Okay, sure. Hold on a second. Uh, let me get one of my security specialists on the phone. Is uh, that okay? Uh, okay. Thank you so much for holding on. This is Brian. I'm one of the account managers. How are you? I'm doing pretty good today. Was this about a home security? Yes. Currently, do you have a security system right now? You don't? No, I don't. I live out in the country. But it would be comforting to have some home security. Yes. Okay, so this is a great opportunity. We can get you a brand new wireless system with a medical life alert absolutely free as a part of this promotion. Oh. Starting off with the basics, how many doors do you have leading from the inside to the outside of the house? Three, four, uh, four. Wait. First of all, we're going to cover all your doors with wireless sensors, and we're going to give you motion sensors and glass break sensors in case anyone tries to break in from the doors or the windows that the alarm will go off. Along with that, we're also going to give you a digital keypad. Now, do you have anyone above the age of 50, 60, or with any medical conditions, God forbid? Well, just me. I live by myself. The reason I'm asking, I'm going to go ahead and add a medical life alert for you. So, God forbid, if you do have any medical emergencies, all you have to do is just press the panic button on the necklace or the bracelet, and the paramedics would be at your residence within no time. It is quite a lifesaver. Oh, well, sounds good. Uh, this is this is a company protocol. Does anybody help you make some financial decisions, like your son, your daughter, or your grandkids? No, I'm I'm just here by myself. Betty comes by. I... So you are the homeowner. Yeah, I own this home. Yeah, it's bought and paid for. Perfect. Now the best part is the system that we're going to give you. It is going to be completely wireless, which means you don't need your landline, you don't need your Wi-Fi. The system will run on its own technology. And let's say, for example, you're at work and you want to get notifications as to which door has been opened, which family member has entered the house. You can get live notifications on your own cell phone so that you're connected. And Why'd you hang up, you son of a bitch?
I was just getting interested. You can be you made my nipples erect. There's Efren Reyes. He's playing Johnny Archer. This is the uh what year is this? I don't even know what year this is. It's, it's five to four. Johnny Archer's winning. Woohoo! Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Jason on the Coded Line. How are you doing good? I'm okay, Jason. How are you doing? Okay, uh, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, so did you or your loved ones ever went to Camp Lejeune Marine Base? Yeah. Why? Okay, in, in which year you were at Camp Lejeune in the past? In 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, in which year? Well, late 70s, yeah. Okay, and did you diagnose with any type of cancer? Yeah. Okay, what type of cancer did you diagnose? Testicular. What? Testicular cancer. Testicular cancer. Yeah. Okay. You have it. Yeah, it's in my balls. Testicular cancer. Yeah, it's a thing. Look it up. Google it. Yeah, it's a testicular cancer, right? Yeah, I used to. They, they took my balls. Oh, that's great. Like, no, like I'm fucking your mom every night, yes? Right? What? It's a testicular cancer. I'm fucking your mom every night. No, what? Uh, I had testicular cancer. He's not really banging my mom. I promise you that. Hello? Yeah. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Hello. Hi, is this Kimmy Welkow? Yeah. Who, who is this? Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm calling from Oak Street Health on a recorded line, Mr. Welkow. And we are a doctor's office that specializes in the care of adults on Medicare. Do you currently receive Medicare? Yeah, of course I do. What's, what's going on? Okay. Hi, Mr. Waldrow. We would like to invite you to a welcome visit at the Oak Street Health office nearest you to um, experience the Oak Street Health difference firsthand at a welcome visit. It's a non-commitment visit where you can come in and see what, it like, see what it's like to be an Oak Street Health patient without having to change your doctor. Well, that sounds interesting. Do I have to get naked? What, what really? What's going on here? Are you for reals? Okay, uh, my zip code? Uh -huh. Your phone's messed up. Uh, my doctor's Dr. Fell. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. We, we're with Oak Street Health, and we're at a doctor's office. Uh-huh. Can your zip code so I can locate the closest one to you? Well, where the hell are you located? I'm curious. You got my, you got my curiosity peaked. What do y'all specify, uh, specialize in? Uh, curious. The care of adults on Medicare. Uh huh. Uh, interesting. Oh yeah, three nine one five seven. What 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 do these clinics do? Can can I go in there with a uh, I don't know, say if I got a, a a sliver of metal in my eyeball or something? Can I get it dug out for cheap or something? Uh, what's going on? So I have to get three nine one five seven. Okay, and you're located originally in Mississippi. Yeah, well, yeah, around there. Okay. Yeah. I do see here that we have a location on North State Street in Jackson, Mississippi, and then we also have an Ellis Avenue location. So I ain't going down there. That's, that's the bad part of town. I tell you what, I'm gonna stay away from that area. I tell you what, it's terrible. Uh, 
I guess, but I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. Uh, this is new to me. You said, you said that those were bad parts of bad parts of town. Ellis, well, not bad. Well, it's, it's the crime rates up over there on Ellis Avenue. There's some good folks, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of bad folks too. Up to no good, if you ask me. I tell you what, that's a, stay away from them areas. Yes, sir. And those are the, those are the, the two closest locations for Oak Street that we have for you. Would you like to come to a welcome visit at either one? What are you just walk in and what just? Oh no, sir. Um, how'd you get this? Scheduled for an appointment. How'd you get my number anyway? Curious. Yes, sir. Um, well, we have several. Um, we have a website. Um, that you can input information. Um, to get information about Oak Street. Um, someone has done that for you. Um. Or you may have called the number that comes up on the commercial. Commercial? I ain't never called no Oak Street. What, what, what's your zip code? I'm curious. Excuse me? Your zip code? Oh, yeah. Um, it's 1380. That was opened was in Chicago. Chicago. Oh, that's that's the bad part of the town there, Chicago. I, I wouldn't go there either. There's a lot of a lot of bad things going on in Chicago. Except for the Blues Brothers. That was a pretty good <laughs> movie right there, I'll tell you what. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for your time today. You have a wonderful day. I'll try. I, I guess yeah, Oak Street. I, I'll I'll try to look it up and find out what's going on. All right. Looking forward to getting naked in the office. Thank you. What a weirdo.